All right, welcome aboard. This is going to be episode one of a Let's Play as the English on Medieval 2 Total War. This is the definitive edition on Steam. And I'm going to do a short campaign. So we got to grab 15 territories. We got to eliminate Scotland and eliminate France. So start off, we are going to be going for York. We're going to get a spy heading up towards the Scots. And see what's going on up there. Of course. We've got two lords, a king inside the uh, inside of Edinburgh. Your will, sire. And let's figure out where we want to send our our bishop or our cardinal. This guy, cardinal. Yes, so usually, what I'll do when I'm figuring out where to send these guys is just take a quick look at the settlements and see where do we have lower um, percentage. So we'll send this guy over to London in our capital. God's servant. We're going to send our king up My north king. with some peasants. Wish they'd never and be born, sire. we're going to send Prince Rufus to initiate the siege. To battle it is, then, sire. Now for this campaign, I'm going to wounds. be doing auto-resolve battles. Siege. That's what I did in the, the previous campaign where I played sire, Medieval sire. 1 Total War. And for people who want me to play the battles, the reason I'm not doing that for now is for the sake of time management. And um, at some point, I am going to do a playthrough on this game. Same thing as Medieval 1 and probably some of the other Total War titles where I do fight battles. But I want to get a good sense of how long these campaigns take and uh, how tedious it would be if I were to fight all the battles or or even select one, like uh, more significant or meaningful battles. So this time we're going to be doing auto resolves. But... That will be coming in the future. So, for construction, I'm going to keep taxes where they are for now in London. I'm going to grab some mines. And in fact, let's take a quick look at our finances. So, okay. Yeah, income's decent. Definitely going to get farms to start off. And I should probably get some watchtowers out here at some point to keep an eye on the French and what they're up to. Get dirt roads here as well to aid with troop transportation once the farms are set up. Of the crown. And for My our Lord. princess, we're going to... We're going to end up sending Post her... Haste, sire. Aye, sire down to the mainland and probably going to use At her as a diplomatic service. figure. Your Majesty. Our diplomat we're going to send over to we'll send him down towards the Portuguese question, and look for some trade. Tomorrow's At your service. And with the merchant I feel like these guys At are very service. rarely worth it in my experience. There's probably someone who understands how to utilize them better. I believe when there are two of a resource within a province, they are seen as more valuable. So let's see how much these textiles Journey are worth. Onward. I believe that's the resource once type. I have rested, sire. At your service. Up here, probably not going to be worth too much. I'll, I'll have to play around with that and see where I want to go. But, okay, London still has good public order. So I'll send some more troops. Forces, yeah, we'll sire. just keep sending guys up this way. Yes, and here, sire, orders. Combining forces. Public order is still good. So, I'm playing on hard, by the way. I will put that in the art or the uh, video title as well. But in case anyone's wondering, okay, this guy is being offered. So we'll take him. They want us to grab that settlement. Hmm. I was hoping they'd ask us to An take order. York, but you know what I'll do? Let's get the new family member down there. Hail my king. And we'll give him an opportunity to go take help. that. Fleet ready, sire. And then once he gets down to the port, we'll send these ships Aye, over. Sire. I don't like to send ships out of port Fleet unless ready, I sire. need to because of the chance of rebels hitting you. Okay, it's gonna take some time to get around to, but Your orders, let's send this guy over and take a quick peek at what yes, they have sir. in there. 
tomorrow's journey two squads of crossmen, out. mailed knights, and two squads of spear militia. So Sire. nothing too crazy. Tomorrow's journey planned out. At your look service. At these. This is not going to get us much. Lane, my so we're going to want to keep moving. Journey Maybe this onward. is silver up here. We'll see what that is worth. My King. King William is on yes. the way to work with Prince I Rufus. I guess they're going to surrender before we get there anyways. Sire. Get our spy up here in the mountains. So when you have your spy in a position where they're on top of a hill or something, I believe they get better line of sight. So I think if I were to drop them down, maybe we'll play around with this. With discretion, sir. Yeah. Approaching Yeah, you lose some line of sight. So we'll keep him up there. Back off before I take a liking and um, just keep an eye on the Scots there. I don't think there's too much else I want to do with Asians right now. At your I'll do my best to keep an eye on this guy. French are probably making an offer of trade rights or something like that. Something for you, <clears throat> gonna not accept that because they are one of the opponents that I'm supposed to be taking out as part of the campaign. Whoops. Okay, looks like we're going to win this because of our lord. Okay. <laughs> I guess not. Back and regroup. Well, our king's yes. there, so. We shall slaughter them, my lord. I'll just assault them for the Besieging sake of time. The cowards, there we go. Such is the fate all of right, all so for the sake of population us. growth, we're gonna Victory occupy that settlement. Me, sire. Mm, okay, construction. Yeah, <laughs> he lost some dread because yes. of uh, not being cruel to the people but so this is one thing that I never really figured out about this game is when you grab a new province if you have a choice to switch it between a castle and a normal town what are the things that you should take into account now for me I'm gonna turn this into a town I already have two castles and I do believe that if there are rare resources you see we've got iron and coal here that having the rare resources makes it better as a town because you're going to get more trade income. You know, things are not black and white in these games, so that's just an idea I'm having, but that's what we're going to do for now. Got this new family family member, Harry, over here. Put him on a boat, and we're going to drop him off on the mainland. And now we're going to figure out what we want to train. So we're going to need at least five units. Crossmen are decent. Your militia, pretty low tier. So let's see. Get some lovey spearmen and mailed knights. So we got roads queued up here, roads queued up here. Kind of queued up in York and in London. Get a port. Start getting some better trade income. Oh boy, I'm fighting off a sneeze here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, I think that was a one-off. Alright, so we'll get a port in London. And expand the economy a little bit more. And I'm probably going to go somewhat aggressive against the Scots. I think what I'll do is go to take this province, uh, what is this, Wales first. In fact, do I want to get another spy or can I get another spy? I can't for now. I think I need an inn to do so. But we're going to get another army together probably soon. For now, we'll just fortify York. And I already forgot about my mercy. So Scotland, same thing as France. We're going to turn that down just because they're going to be a target of ours. Your orders, sir. Okay, this guy will keep going down towards the Portuguese. Without question, sire. Merchant going up to this mine here. Yes, sire. We'll start sending okay, it's not horrible. At once. 20 at per turn. Service. Hopefully he'll level up over some time and start pulling in more. He's only got one skill, so 20 is not bad for that. Okay, you got some recruitment, construction. All right, so Hail my king. what I wanted to do here yes, was throw down 
yes, watch towers in a couple this places tower will keep vigil over the land. and just get some better map vision. I have Robert put one over here. Yes, sir. Directing a watch and tower. then we're going to recruit a couple more troops. Yeah, we'll do some lower tier troops. That way we can keep some guys fortified in Kane while the other forces go out and attack Rene or Renz. How do you pronounce that? All right, so let's start increasing the quality of the troops we can get from here. Although, what is the benefit of increasing the farm? They're at 166. So that is a 55 income increase. I think I'll do that. Yeah, I need to get my money. I need to get money flowing, so get a port first. Keep going for some infrastructure stuff. Command me, sir. Bolster in York. Places are fine. And can I march out now? My lord. I think I should. My lord. Orders. So we're gonna take sire. orders. Sire. These orders. troops with who's a better commander? With Robert. Your oh. will, sire. Orders. Orders. My yeah, lord. I think that should be enough. Fight against what they have here. To war, then, sire. The siege will start in a turn and they'll hold out for a couple. All right. That should be good for this turn. We're going to leave at the merchant service. where he's at. Yes. This map's already moved. And our spy can sit. I wonder where those. Sire. Okay, they captured that. Where Let's to, see. Sire? Oh wow, they lost a lot. Ooh. Do I march on them? He doesn't have anyone hiding in the woods, does he? I think they just lost almost all their army fighting for Inverness. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go. Ooh. 2,400. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. Just gonna mix the troops. Good planning, and they're gonna come up here, and then we're gonna march on Edinburgh. You know you can trust Although, what, I wonder if I can just take a bunch of guys out of here already. Command me, sire. We'll take King William. Orders. And we're gonna leave some of these worn down troops. Actually, no, we'll leave. Orders. Spears and. Prince Rufus. Let's see what happens. How's public order if we believe that? Okay. Command. These guys are gonna go up this way. We're gonna declare war on them in a second. Move. And then these guys will reinforce and try to catch up with them. We'll keep this spy here. I don't think they have troops in the woods. I, I'm assuming they lost a bunch of guys because I think this is a strong garrison in the beginning of the game. But we're gonna find that out with time. Someone comes running out of here, so. All right. All right. Her name is Skalath. <laughs> that is such a random name. All right. So recruitment, a lot of recruitment, marriage celebration, construction, and money is tight. Your will, so Robert, to on the way to Renee's. Time. And we want some construction now. Get land clearance in London, and we're gonna kick the taxes up. In York, we'll do the same, but we will also get land clearance. Okay, I'm not I was wrong. Yes. <laughs> These guys reach. These guys sire. can though. Yes, sire. My lord. Well, look at that. Okay, that was. As you wish. Good thing I noticed that. Here, <laughs> hard, hard to miss it with that big blue block right next to my city. My lord. Well, now York is potentially going to be under siege next turn. So 
Best you know what I should do is send this guy out. How do I get? Yes. There's no way to... Okay, that's what I was doing wrong. I was gonna say there's gotta be a way to recruit rebel. So then grab them. That's all I can afford. Luckily, our king has more command than Prince Edward. They might have better troop quality depending on how many Highlanders they have in there. I think Highlanders are a decent early game. But we are likely to find out next turn. Oh boy. He's probably gone. He's a one star. Mm hmm. Uh, merchants are such a pain in the ass in this sire. game. Yes, sire. <clears throat> yes, my lord. I think Pamplona is somewhere Without around here. Question, sire. All right, so we got the port, and they did I'm not attack. Not you. But you know what? Yes, my lord. This my is the order. time to sire. start the war. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire. See what kind of troop quality they have. So a lot of town militia. Now I'm playing on hard, so I don't know how that affects this. It says I have a better ratio than them. Let's see. Ooh, okay. How bad we lost? We lost less than the third. They lost about half their guys. And this is our king, who is a—he's like a dread general. So we're gonna execute these guys. I don't know why they just said mercy because that. Oh, I guess it, I was thinking Merci, like, uh, in French, but I guess he was saying Mercy with a Scottish accent. <laughs> okay, so, man, increase. Now we're at war. Merge these guys up. And now, we are uh, hurting at the bank. But we're going to get the siege going here. Besieging the enemy. Our sieging army is at ships and what ready. else are we going to do? We're going to continue doing some... Well, I guess I can't afford to do much more construction. Command so now we will continue marching. So we're going to leave some basic units here. I think we'll probably be okay if we leave these guys, given how public order we looks go no before. Further today. We shall slaughter them more mercenaries to recruit. And I think we leave everything else as is. This guy I already Sire. moved. A quick time check here. We're about at 18 minutes. All right. There we go. More income there. Yes. Soon enough. I'll place your head hmm. atop a pike. Once I kill you, he recruit more guys. Next. I guess in Edinburgh he did. Command, sire. They'll wish they'd never been born, Three sire. Two. How did he get more command? Isn't this the same guy? I swear he only had uh, two command earlier. Don't do anything. Step over. Yes, you come on. Grab guys here. Step over. Marching, grab guys here. And yes, then let's see. Damn, we're one Moving turn away. To crush the enemy. They got their king there. Hmm. We shall well, we could be making a mistake, Lord. but if anything, I just retreat to York, and we'll be grabbing more territory over here soon. Although the French are, hmm, they are looking quite close to us. Anywhere I can do cheap infrastructure expansion. This here, what's going to increase our money more? So there's a way to do this so you can see kind of what the increase is going to be. It's only going to increase by 10. And this is seemingly not going to change anything. Is that right? It says it increases trade but maybe I need to have a grain exchange first so let's go for a grain exchange that's not much of a difference but maybe once I get roads and stuff it'll um, kick in a little bit more okay. 
Yes, my lord. Right, diplomats coming around. Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? All right, let's just offer this, and they'll be more likely to accept. There we go. Then we're going to go for the Spanish, which I believe their, their closest province is probably around here -ish. Without question, sire. Tomorrow's here. journey planned out, sire. Tomorrow's Can't journey planned out, that made much of a difference out, for our income, but anything helps. So, money, money, money. How do we get more money here? Command me, sire. I'm gonna back up here because they're getting My new king. recruits in. As you command. And um, they've got reinforcements coming sire, from Inverness as well. So we're gonna back up for now. And this is one of those things where you can kind of think of it like an RTS, where it's like, okay, if he has a better army than me right now, but I have more territory, or I'm like macroing better, then I can just avoid engagement An and order. let my we'll scale um, push me into a better position until I feel ready to do combat. So we're gonna back up and take a quick look at where could we get more money in an effective way. Probably with getting some better farming. And yes, I think that's what we're gonna do. So where do we have better farms? Here is average harvest, and then in London, good harvest. We'll get communal farming in London. How's this doing? Two more turns. My lord. So I could attack Your here will, and auto resolve this, but the thing is, I want to minimize casualties, and I'm not in a rush to grab this place. Part of, part of the reason I want to minimize casualties is because the French are nearby, so in the case they decide they want to be aggressive towards me, I want to have as much of a garrison as possible. So we'll hold there for now. And um, that is going to be the end of this episode. So, yeah, welcome aboard for a new campaign. This one probably won't be as long as the Italian one that I just did in Medieval 1, because we're going to play a short campaign. And... Um, in case anyone is wondering, I will go back to Medieval 1. I've probably said it before, but I'm going to float around kind of between the Total War games. Mostly as I feel like it, I'll probably take into account people's, um, you know, input in the comments section and whatnot, and what people would like to see. I also have Three Kingdoms and uh, Warhammer and Shogun and things like that. So anyways, that'll be that for episode one of this campaign as the English, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.